Hello and welcome to this episode where I will be discussing one of the work which we have recently published. So this is work that I did in collaboration with my project student where we're trying to understand the role of the functional components in human breast milk and how they have the potential of modulating the gut microbiome. And then we looked at also maternal and child characteristics and confounders of breastfeeding and how this impact on the risk of obesity later in life. This work has been published in nutrition reviews. And so at the end, once I've given a bit of overview, if you want to find out a little bit more, please be feel free to look out or to read the whole article that can be found on their, on their website. Yes, in this work, we're trying to understand how the different components that are in the breast women breast milk and how they can actually result in an impact on the gut microbiome. I'm sure you'll have heard recently the buzzes and all the excitement about the buzz uh, about the gut because a lot of people do think that the gut is like the second brain. And so we were trying to understand what is it that the way the child is fed or the infant is fed or after the child is born, how they are fed and how this does impact or does in a way set or modulate their gut and how this impacts on obesity later in life. So you can see here from the abstract just some key things to remember. The human breast milk contains different components such as the, uh, the human milk oligosaccharides which are just sugars of different molecular weights and these also have an important role to play when it comes to uh, modulating the gut. They also have what are known as the short chain fatty acids and of course also they have milk fat globular membrane that are part of the components of breast milk. So what did we find from this research? We showed we saw that uh, there is a positive association between fecal branched short chain acids and human milk oligosaccharide diversity and the gut microbiome associated with the better metabolic he uh, health. There is also a negative correlation between the microbiome diversity and human milk oligosaccharide evenness, which is associated again with a greater fat mass and percentage of fat. And that meant that children that were not breastfed in a way that the gut was um, set up in a different way, they had different colonization of the gut microflora and these had like an, an impact again on the weight and these children tended to end up with obesity later in life as compared to those who are not, who are breastfed or their breastfed counterparts. So one thing that I just realized about the whole of this project was that in most of the cases, because of course this is a, a matter of looking at the ethical issues, you find that there isn't no much information that has been done and proper follow-up experiments that have shown how these impact the breastfeeding does impact on obesity later in life, particularly when it comes to how it impacts on uh, the, the diversity of the gut. So there is some more work that still needs to be done in order to shed light on the governing mechanisms that link breast milk components with a vast infant microbiome, but the, as, a, as a start, we've shown in this work that there are beneficial impacts or possibilities when it comes to being able to breastfeed a child, you know, just kind of in a way bonding with a child and things like that, but also you're setting up your child gut microbiome or microbiota, and this can impact later on obesity in life. So if you're interested in finding a little bit more about this work, this is work, as again, as I mentioned, it's been published. I will highly encourage you to go into the nutritional reviews and once you get to the nutritional reviews you will be able to see or to look out for the article and you can read more in details and once you've read in details if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and i'd be more than happy to discuss the same with you thank you